is someone present. Move. I'll wear your guts around my neck! Who's there? Ah! Ah!
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope. I hope. You'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in.
This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, well, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of hey. success. I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you. I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you. If I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Thank you for sparing us. Excuse me. I can't believe you'd do that for us. Thank you. Hey there. Thank you for sparing us. Thank you for sparing us. Thank you for sparing us. <laughs> 